Welcome to Oil Processing Central, where we're about to add in our sulfur to uh, sulfuric acid to battery creation center. Uh, batteries, of course, being essential in order to build accumulators, which will help us out greatly in the future to make sure that our power needs are suitably looked after. And a quick check of the power right now shows we are capped out for power right now. Uh, could be because we haven't got enough water going in, could be because we haven't got enough steam engines, could be because I've just got too much stuff. No matter what the cause, we're going to press on and w ignore our power problems for the time being because we're going to rectify them very soon. So the first thing we're going to want is a bit of water for this particular exploit, and that means a new pump. Now we're going to pump all this water down to where it's going to be useful. Now water is used in two different stages of construction here and what I'm hoping to do is put one plant right next to another. So if we look at the plant here, what we're going to make in this one is sulphur, which is three parts water, three parts petroleum gas. And then that will make our sulphur, which we will take straight out of there. In fact, I can probably use a regular inserter for this one. We'll take it straight out of the first plant into the second one in order to make sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is there, which is 5 sulfur, 10 water, and an iron plate, which means we're going to have to port some iron over from our main iron storage area, but that's okay. I've planned for that. So we're bringing in water first and foremost, and uh, we're going to want that to uh, service both of these plants equally. So we're going to need to move that just for a moment. I know, everybody's upset. Nobody's got enough power. Don't worry, I'll fix it. People just need to stay calm. So if we put that in here, terrific. Good, right, so yes, let's uh, give these guys the wet stuff. And then do the same over here, leaving a judicious pipe space there to bring petroleum gas in. Right, so that's both of those hooked up with water. Hooray for us. Uh, let's power them now, just because the I haven't got enough power flashy thing is enough to annoy anybody. Uh, and then we will bring down petroleum from here. I mean, this is far from being the most elegant uh, pipe layout system, but to be honest, this is another one of those situations where I built not needing very much early on and uh, and now here we are and we could probably do with a little bit more let's add some illumination to the area see what's going on tremendous okay good so we've got sulfur going into our whatever the hell it is we're making sulfuric acid plant and now that's going to need some iron in order to finish off its construction so we're going to need both iron and copper for the third stage uh, which is going to be uh, battery construction. Um, so let's bring that into line now. Now I've got a two chest system working here gathering iron and as you can see the bottom one is already full and that's largely because I go through iron at such a rate of knots in just hand building things that it makes sense to, uh, to, to keep a stash sitting around waiting for me. So we're going to need a couple of, well, we're going to need a long handle inserter for this job, which we'll do here, grabbing from there and sticking onto a belt there. Now, obviously, here is going to be our blue-purple flask line. Um, if I can get away with never moving my research again, I'll be very, very pleased. So we're going to want to run that underneath the end of that line which should come out there and then we can run conveyors all the way up to where we're going to need them just like that and what we'll do is yeah, it would be nice if that was a little bit lower down but we'll get over it uh, is there anywhere sneakier we could do this yes there is I think we'll, we'll take some sneakier route since we're in the area 
as you can see the train research is coming along very nicely indeed and to be honest all I'm doing right now is I'm not researching in any particular order uh, getting my power problems sorted is going to be kind of priority number one uh, but fundamentally I'm going through finishing off all of the remaining red this isn't going to work what are you thinking about okay see I thought something sneaky here I thought I could place that there and then this here and then uh, that's not gonna work so back to how we were thank you let's just pretend that wasn't happening and take the time to get to know each other a little better uh, right okay so we're hooking up their running belts back out in exactly the same place I just had them It's not gonna. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. All right. Well, we'll do it the other way then. Yeah, steady on, Mr. Sulfur. Steady on. Let's put it there. There. Yeah. All right. Smashing. All right. So, see, look, research just kicking along beautifully. All right. You're going to be sulfuric acid. Uh, apologies for any uh, incursions by aliens you can hear in the background. Uh, I didn't invite them, they just turned up. And you're only going to want iron, so we're going to put a smart inserter there since this belt is going to be carrying both iron and copper. See? Actual thinking ahead. And we'll put some power in here. Sure, why not? Okay, good. And then we'll put our final chemical plant here in order to grab the sulfuric acid from the sulfuric acid plant and kick batteries out quite happily the other end. Beautiful. Have we got enough pipe? Probably need a little bit more. Uh, let's pipe this in. And we might as well fill both. like so. Good. Yep. Absolutely. Fabulous. Cool. And because uh, batteries require both uh, copper and iron in order to make, we can just put a regular fast inserter there in order to grab everything we need. And that should be sufficient. Uh, the batteries aren't going to make make themselves particularly fast but this nice line here should mean that if I want to expand later on and have multiple places kicking out batteries then that shouldn't be any drama in the slightest uh, and we'll just have that in a chest for now and then let's give this guy some power in a very simplistic fashion and we're uh, we just need to hook up down here excellent uh, no point in using fast belts here. You're not going to go through resources that far, uh, that quickly. And because these are both going to feed onto the same side of the belt, we're going to want to uh, do a little bit of a, a belt maneuver. Okay, right. There we go. Ah, oh, look at that. These are coming in the top, those are coming in the bottom. This is going to work just perfectly. There we go. A voila, as the French are wanted to say. Uh, groovy. So we've got uh, we've got both iron and copper coming in. I'm not overly uh, thrilled with the uh, with the beauty of this layout however it is getting the job done or it will be very very shortly and that of course will give us batteries and once we have batteries we can go into making our solar generation uh, because with accumulators it means that the solar power can charge us up during the day and uh, then uh, discharge whatever leftover power it's got at night to keep us fully topped up. And I don't doubt that we're probably pretty much capped all the time. Yeah, I mean, our consumption is, uh, is not at uh, where it needs to be, not at peak. So if we look back for the last hour, 
no matter what we keep increasing here we're just we're burbling away we're not uh, not being particularly consistent anyway we've got batteries now six of them terrific and of course to make a accumulator it's plates and batteries five batteries at a throw so we can build at least one accumulator now the the formation I've built some solar panels already uh, in order to avoid you having to hang around see thinking of you guys uh, I'm gonna need a nice big open space in which to do this and frankly once this is no longer an iron generation area that will be ideal Hold on, let's make a couple of lights so we can see what the hell's going on let's put one in there and one up here I know I haven't really got the power for it but what the hay uh, but I am thinking that this belt is going to be or at least part of this belt somewhere is going to be our, uh, our unloading for, for trains so I'm going to try and keep the the power grid as it were below that although that said I would or rather it seems quite likely I'll expand my furnace area so maybe here is not the pl best place <coughs> yes it's not the best place okay all right well we'll do it do we want to know you might need to expand there again see this is this is called surveying. This is why you should should look things through before you decide exactly where you're going to go. Uh, okay, well, where else do we like? We don't want to go right in the middle of the coal field. Uh, we don't want to go outside of where we've got protected right now. Maximum zoom. Okay, well this could probably work. It's out there, nice big forest. Beautiful. Okay, we'll try it here, and if the aliens like it then uh, they'll probably come and say hi at some point. Okay, so I like to build my sol solar panels in groups of eight, like that. With a one gap in between, so that uh, just so that you can move through them. Otherwise you end up with a, a field of solar panels uh, with no way of getting between them. Almost walled myself in there, which would have been entertaining. And then we wire these all up together. Let's do our last two groups. We'll do another two. And then we'll get them on the grid. Now solar panels don't kick out the most magnificent amount of power you've ever seen, but they do something, and that's that's enough to be getting on with. I'm debating whether it's worth actually uh, factorizing, so uh, so getting some factories up building um, solar panels because uh, they can take a. Oh, that's good. Right, you've not thought this through, have you? So if we put that there and then this here, those two are linked. Still not going to be able to link to that one. Uh, what's the alternative? Is that going to hit all of them? No. Ooh. Maybe there's a better way. Maybe there's a better way. Maybe that's the better way. In which case... I don't know. Let's have a look. Well, they're not talking to each other. So what are you thinking? Interesting. It's excessive. But let's go. Alright. Fine. Yes. Alright. We'll, uh, we'll do it that way. Fine. Okay. Good. Yes. Marvelous. Um, yeah, we're going to use an excessive number of uh, of pylons in order to get these chaps talking to each other. But frankly, as long as they do talk to each other, that's the only thing that matters. Uh, then let's get them onto the grid. They all start generating, and hopefully the grid should be a little happier. So we're now actually hitting our uh, our demand. Uh, we're only bringing in just shy of two megawatts from from solar. But that does mean that we do we are running a, uh, a surplus. It might only be a small surplus, but it is a surplus nonetheless. So let's get a... I think I grabbed seven batteries last time. I'll grab a few more, and we'll get some accumulators set up. And that should allow us to have some trickle power overnight. Yeah, 56. Much better. Oh, let's not muck about. Let's just build all of them. Yeah, baby. Okay, so we've got 12 accumulators. We just need somewhere safe to put them so that they're not going to be in the way. And they're not likely to get chewed up too badly. 
This is our furnace expansion area. This would seem to be the logical place. Right here, power central. One, two, three, we'll do a three, four to start with. There is, of course, going to be a more elegant way of doing this. I don't doubt it. Uh, this so it seems to be the sort of thing that people like posting GIFs of. Check out my awesome power grid. Still. There we go. All right, juicing up. So that's actually uh, a pretty decent accomplishment. We've got power going. Uh, we've got batteries being produced, and the batteries are certainly... Uh, coming up at such a rate that uh, we shouldn't have any kind of a shortage for the time being. Got sulfur and sulfuric acid being made and we've actually got our first, our first solar power cracking along quite nicely. So this is all good. Uh, resources are, are pretty healthy right now but obviously we are going to start running low not least of all with our, our main mine here. I mean, we've still got a couple of thousand or a thousand plus anyway in each of these so that's okay copper I'm going to assume is fine given that the queue is enormous and then our secondary mine here is also pretty good so I think what I want to do is maybe switch this round so maybe run maybe alternate maybe something something maybe yeah, maybe turn this into two ranks of iron production and just generally up things. So maybe add a couple more research labs to get that going along faster still. I'm not sure. I mean, the one thing I do know for absolute certain is we are not making enough uh, electronic circuits. We might, might look like we've got tons of them, but... Uh, we're going to need a heck of a lot more as we push towards blue flasks, and I think that's where we're going to be going in the near future. On which subject, we're actually not making enough red flasks. What's going on here? What's the matter with you people? Come on, kick them out. Let's go. Trot on. Interesting. Okay, so that's what, what should we do next time? Next time, I think we'll start to look at eradicating this enormous alien base over here to the east so that we can exploit this lovely looking iron field with a with a secondary copper field next to it which will do us great great guns in the future so why don't you tune in then and uh, and see how we get on thank you very much have an entertaining day